Hi everyone, I'm Beth from the West Dallas Public Library and welcome to another one of our science experiments. So this is one of the take and make options that we have out every other Tuesday at the library. Um, the one today, so typically we only give away the dry ingredients just because it's hard to give away liquids. Um, so today, in addition to the instructions, the only thing in the packet is Alka-Seltzer. So if you have this at home, along with these other ingredients, you can easily do this experiment. The other ingredients you'll need is vegetable oil. I've also heard baby oil works, but I haven't tried that one myself. You need water. You'll need some food coloring. And as you can see, I once again have all of my ingredients on um, a tray. This is actually just the top of a, one of those plastic bins just to catch any mess that might spill. All right, so on to the experiment. This is, this is one I recommend parental supervision, adult supervision, um, and under no circumstances at all should you put the tablet, the Alka-Seltzer tablet in your mouth. Not at all, bad idea, do not do it. Um, and a good thing to do before you start is break your tablet up um, mine actually was broken up in the package, so that helps. You'll want it in three or four pieces, and you can use those pieces to do the experiment over and over again. All right, here we go. First, we're gonna pour in the water, and you wanna fill about a quarter of the way full. I put in a half cup um, of water because that's about a quarter of my jar. Um, so if you have a bigger container, you might want more liquid. It's really going to kind of depend on how much oil you have. Now you want to fill this with about, about a cup, so and we'll let that settle. So a fourth of the container with water and then put in the oil so that the container is about three fourths full. And you could already see something's happened here. Do you see the water is on the bottom and the oil settles on the top. So next we are going to add our food coloring. Now always be careful with food coloring because it is permanence, meaning it will stain if you spill it. So you just want to add a few drops of food coloring, and this is almost in itself fun to watch. Okay, let's see what happens. You see, it's all it's kind of settled. I don't know what happens if I do this. There, go. there are a few floating on the top here. I think that's You guys can see each side is the best. All right, now to the fun part. Ready? I'm going to grab just a little piece of my tablet, so not the whole thing. I've got just a little piece here, and I am going to drop it in and see what happens.
the great thing is, there's more pieces left of my tablet. I'm gonna add an even smaller one and see what happens, right? Boop. And that's the lava lamp. Now you can keep adding pieces of your tablet until you're out to keep getting new bubbles. You can try adding another color if you have more than one color of food coloring. Um, I don't know what'll happen, if the colors will blend together or if they'll stay separate. That's it's a good experiment. Or I've also heard when it stops bubbling, try sprinkling salt into the lava lamp to see what happens. I'm not sure what that does. So if you do it, let me know. I hope you have fun with your lava lamp. I know I did. I think it's a really cool experiment. Um, and I will see you in two weeks with a new one. Bye, everyone.